And we'll just give it a minute. And there we have it. We have what we have is a live disk of G parted operating. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Tronics channel. Today, what we have going on is how to make a G part of it bootable USB disk. This is a Tech Team Tronics production. Um, if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe, uh, like the video, share the video, and whatever have you. So let's get started. All right. What the basics are is we're going to create a G parted USB disk that can be ran live on an old computer per se. How we're going to do it is we will do it manually by downloading the zip, unzipping the contents into the USB disk, and making it bootable by running. Um, a file. So let's take it back. Let's get started. I'm going to open a browser. Got our browser open. I'm going to search G parted live USB. And um, if you go to this where you can download it, they give you the instructions and everything too. There's several methods to doing it. Like you could use Tux Boot, Manual, Unet Booting, Linux Live USB Creator. And I chose not to do A, C, or D because I don't want to install another USB device. Or USB software quite yet so my instructions I came and basically modified them to our purposes for our, uh, on my slide here let's take a look all right first things first we're gonna download the live zip of G parted okay that's what I'm doing right now Okay, so I'm gonna go with the stable zip. And I'm gonna go with this latest update here. And I'm gonna go with the AMD. I'm gonna get G parted live 110-8 AMD 64 zip. And there's the download. Next, next we are going to need the USB stick of choice. So I think uh, I have my handy USB stick. I don't know what's on it. I know that there's just a couple of eight gigabyte sticks that I'm using around here for different things. So. We have downloaded the G part of Zip Live. I'm going to plug in this disk and see what we have. I'm going to go to Explorer. Take a look at what we have as far as this PC is concerned. We're going to reformat it as FAT32. Format is complete. Now we may proceed with our steps. All right, we have the partition. We have the FAT file system. I want to extract all the contents of the zip that we downloaded.
So I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to take this and drag it to the desktop temporarily. All right. Then I'm going to open the zip. Oh, crap. Actually. We need a... We need a program like WinZip. Three. But you know what? I actually prefer to use WinRare. Sixty four bit. Yes, I'm going to install this real quick. All the file associations. And this is just a, a standard WinRare setup. Okay. Now, I want to see if I can extract these. We'll use the WinRare Archiver. Okay, always be sure to donate if you got it like that. We're going to extract two. USB drive D, just the root of D. And we'll just let it do its course. Okay, so this is almost done. Okay, then we'll take a look at the final steps. We are to browse the USB flash drive as an administrator on the USB flash key. Create a shortcut to make boot.bat file and right click on the shortcut properties advanced run as administrator. Click the make boot.bat in the directory utilities windows 32 now here's a warning make boot .bat must be run from the usb flash drive so i don't have that anywhere on my hard drive it's on the flash drive so that's where i want to go the utilities windows 32 make and run the make boot .bat from the flash Alright, so I'm going to create shortcut delete it run as administrator All right, and then we have a command prompt. Read everything. This batch file will prepare drive D for boot using syslinux. Run this file at your, from your portable USB device only. That's where we are. Run this file from your hard drive. May overwrite your current master boot record and render your Windows operating system unbootable. You've been warned. This batch file is offered in hopes that it will be useful and comes absolutely with no warranty. Use it at your own risk. Okay, I'm going to press the any key. 
All right, I'm gonna press any key to make drive D bootable. All right, and it looks like uh, we have what we need. I am going to eject the disk. I'm going to take the stick. I'm going to insert it into this PC here. And I'm going to switch my KVM. To, I don't know which one it is. Can't be one. All right, we're going to see if we can get this computer to boot off of F12. Going to enter the boot menu. And see where this... See if we can boot off of this transcend. And we have the G parted live settings, default settings. So I'll click enter. And we'll just give it a minute and there we have it we have what we have is a live disk of g parted operating <laughs>